Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm coming through with another video and you guys see the topic. I just want to touch on this a little bit today because the majority of the phone calls that I do with you guys and other clients. I can relate those a lot to this topic because I can hear it in your guys' voice. Like, the way you guys talk to me about these situations. If you are in a relationship with a narcissist, you are addicted. You are addicted to this person and it's a very dangerous place to be in, in your life. If you are addicted to a narcissist understand this if you are in a relationship with a narcissist your life is not yours okay that's why things seem and feel so foggy because you can't think for yourself you can't live for yourself you can't get up in the run of the day and do things with a peace of mind because they are constantly in your head. A narcissist is a person that gets in your head and if they can't get in your head, they get mad at you, they get upset at you. They want to control you and your thoughts. They want you to view them and see them a specific way. And some of them will actually even do the opposite. Let's say, <clears throat> let's say you're a person and you're really about your shit. You're really about your life. What they can also do is make you look really bad in front of other people behind your back. They can't do this to your face because you could call them out on their bullshit in front of everybody else. You can make them look really stupid, but behind your back, they can make you look like the worst person in the world. They're basically capable of ruining your life, all in all. And we all know this. It's what they do. They're evil. And if you are in a relationship one, if you are in a relationship with one, it's very, very dangerous. You have to get out of that mind frame because just the way I talk to you is, you know, like you just don't fully understand what you have to do. You guys are still scared to cut them completely off. You guys are scared to be without them because you are brainwashed to believe that they are not actually like they really are. You're brainwashed to believe that they are actually better than you and better off without you and that you need them. They put this in your mind. They put fear into your own head because they can turn the tables faster than you guys think. What you guys did was basically said yes to them all the way around because back whenever I was in these positions, just like you guys and didn't know what the fuck was going on, I was basically a yes man, just saying yes to everything, you know, going along with everything they wanted to do, doing everything they said being their slave and it's like you don't think it's like this but they slowly chip away at you and put you in this position before you even realize that you're addicted to them and now there's no there's no getting away from that and it's an uncomfortable conversation talking about shit like this because what I'm doing is I put myself back into that mind frame of how I used to think and it's fucking uncomfortable like it's a deadly position to put yourself in. There's nothing better in this world than having a peace of mind. 
there's nothing better in this world than being able to live by yourself and do the things you want to do and not be controlled by any single person on this planet. You are in control. You are the master of your life and you don't have to fucking say, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do, you know? You're not controlled by shit. Your life is yours. You don't have to answer nobody. You don't have to answer these people. You can use all the time in the world to improve yourself, to get yourself to where you need to be so the right people will show up. These are the people you want in your life. You don't want a person that's constantly at you every single day over something. Maybe because they want more attention. Maybe because they want this. Maybe because they want that. They are just using you for their own benefit. They don't know what true happiness is. When these types of people tell me they love me, it's I can I can sense it a mile away. Especially today. It's bullshit. And even back when I didn't see this, whenever they used to say I love you and shit like this when I was young, like it still didn't feel right. It's like we barely even hung out and you're saying this shit to me. Like you know, and I actually fell for it. I actually did. But not anymore. Not even close people that used to be in my life can fool me with this shit. Like, people I've known my whole life, they can say this shit to me, I ain't fooled. When somebody says I love you, you, sh you should be able to actually feel it and say it back without no doubt in your mind. Without no doubt in your mind. Because that is a true connection. It's not just a word that somebody throws out, you know? They don't know what love is. They don't love themselves. They don't. And they don't take the time to do it. Because they're constantly, every day, in a panic. They don't know how to sit the fuck back and observe for a little while and learn some new shit and just take a breather, take a break. They cannot do this. They cannot do this because they're constantly at other people so they can keep proceeding in their own life. They can't sit back themselves, stay cool, calm, collected, and overcome things by themselves. They're constantly using other people to get themselves forward. They cannot do it themselves. The narcissist only wants you in their life when it's beneficial for them. They can use you for many, 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 many different things. They can use you for money. They can use you as a baby. Like, they can use you, like, to get them a kid. And once they have the kid, they're going to change completely. I know so many guys that I used to be friends with and, and still am friends somewhat like I don't hang out with them like that but like if we see each other like it's not bad it's good terms like I know people like this many of them that had a kid and the girl they had a kid would change immediately once they had it and use that as their own leverage to control the guy girls do this so, so they'll get that check in my opinion, that's, that's, that's a narcissist. That's a fucking narcissist. They do a bunch of shit like this. They'll use... They'll use other guys to make their own so-called boyfriend and jealous. They'll do a bunch of shit like this. They just... They're evil. They don't know how to be a decent human being. Because their soul and their intentions are fucked up. They're not going to tell you this. They're going to sugarcoat everything to make it seem like it's not bad. But what they're doing is bad. This is all spiritual shit going on. To a different extent. They use nice words to cover things up. But when you feel these people on a spiritual level, you know what they're doing. It's all manipulation. They're, they're doing all these things so they can get what they want. You know? 
That's why being in a relationship with one is absolute hell. Having one in your life is hell. If you have any in your life, you should keep a distance from these people. Just because somebody's a narcissist, you don't have to point it right out and just start going off at them. Like the best, that's actually not the best thing to do. Because some of these people are fucking crazy and they actually will come for you and try to do some shit to you. The best thing you can do is keep your distance and stay calm towards these people and just play it off. Act as if you don't know what they're really about, but deep down inside, you know damn well what they're about. Just don't give them nothing, you know? You can say no to them, but you don't have to just fly right into them. Because like I said, they can come for you. It's not the best thing to do. Just play cool. And whenever I talk to some of you guys on the phone, it's almost as if you just don't want to accept the fact that you have to cut this person off. You know, you don't get 100, like I know you know, but you don't get it 100% that they can't change. You think they can change. You think they might change, but it's not like that. It's much, it's a much bigger problem than you even think. They're not capable of doing that. They are incapable of doing that. And they're not going to tell you that. But that's the truth. And the more you hold on, the more hurt you get. The longer you hold on is the longer you're staying in the mix with this person. The longer it's going to take for you to completely heal and let go. Not everybody is meant to be in your life. Not everybody is meant to stay in your life. I don't care who they are. I don't care if it's your damn parents. I don't care if it's your damn siblings, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your lifelong friends. I don't give a fuck who it is. People can change for the worst too. People don't just improve. People get worse in life as well. People could be a nice person one day and a year later or two years later have an evil soul because maybe they got in with people that were like this and it changed them. This happens. That's why you're in charge of your own happiness. You gotta take care of you and be prepared for the worst. Because the worst can happen. You could be with somebody for years and something can happen. They could change into something you don't want. You have to let them go if this happens. Nothing is guaranteed. You're married right now. That's cute because that's not guaranteed. Most of the time people actually get a lot worse once they get married for some odd reason. You know, their true colors really show. They feel secure to do whatever they want. A lot of women will use this as leverage. A lot of men too will use this as leverage to start doing some nasty shit because they think in their mind, now they have ownership over this person. I'm never getting married in my life. I don't give a fuck who it's with. I'm not getting married to anybody. I could have a, a lifelong girlfriend. That can happen, but I ain't getting married. I'm not signing those papers. There's nothing in it for me to do that. Why would I do that? It's stupid. Marriage is fucking dumb today. And I'm about to wrap this video up. I just want to finish off by saying quickly again that, uh, You have to really see these situations for what they are, brothers and sisters. You really have to see the situation for what it is. You might feel lost 
if you completely let go of a narcissist that is in your life because you spend so much time with them, you spend so much time talking with them that you actually lost a piece of yourself and when you let them go, that's actually why you feel lost is because you lost a piece of yourself. But that piece of yourself comes back with time. Once you let go and focus on yourself, focus on positivity, focus on other people who are also whole, whole beings. They got a, they got a hold of themselves. Focus on people like this and it will make you feel more whole as well. Because narcissists are empty, they will make you feel empty. Narcissists can't love, they will make you feel like you cannot love either. This is how it is, this is how they work. It's fucked up, but it is what it is. Anyways guys, I'm cutting this video off now. I'll be back tomorrow with a video request. So until next time, I'm out.